Welcome back future medicos. In the previous videos we have seen the cutoff marks for private colleges in Puducherry. We have seen private colleges in Kerala. We have seen the cutoff for private colleges in Andhra and Telangana. Today in this video we will see the cutoff marks for the private colleges in Tamil Nadu. I'm going to only talk about those colleges where all India candidates can participate. So first of all I will show you the list of colleges and then those colleges will be divided into minority colleges that is christian minority telugu minority malayalam minority and then we will also have colleges under non minority private colleges so in this particular video we are going to focus only on the cut off marks for non minority private colleges for which tamil nadu candidates can apply as well as other state candidates can also apply now we will go and see what are the colleges first okay now you are seeing the list of private self financing colleges in tamil nadu so you can see that there are 19 private self financing medical colleges as of 2021 we still do not know whether there are any new colleges that are coming up in 2022 so i am showing you the data as of 2021 out of these 19 colleges 10 colleges are minority colleges so you can see here there are three christian minority colleges that is cmc velur madha medical college and panimalar medical college there is one malayalam minority college that is sri mukambika institute in kanyakumari and there are six telugu minority colleges that is annapurna arunai danalakshmi karpagam faculty sri muthukumaran medical college and tirchi srm these are all telugu minority colleges and then we also have nine non minority colleges available so that is indra medical college karpaga vinayaka kmch mel maruvathur psg st peters swami vivekananda tagur medical college and velamal medical college so we have nine non minority colleges and 10 minority colleges out of these minority colleges cmc velur procedure is still not confirmed there is a court case coming up on 8th august so we do not know yet what is the procedure but as of 2021 the seats in cmc velur 70 percentage of the seats have been offered to christian candidates from tamil nadu and then the remaining 30 percentage of the seats 20 percentage of the seats went to sponsored candidates that is candidates sponsored by the churches that come under cmc velur network and 10 percentage of the seats were reserved for the children of cmc staff quota now this year we do not know what is the procedure so in this video what i am going to show is not including christian minority i am not showing that i will cover that in another video uh, the other colleges like madha panimalar mugambika or even annapurna for these colleges you have to be a tamil nadu resident only if you hold tamil nadu nativity and if you belong to that particular minority for example telugu minority your mother tongue should be telugu and you should be a tamil nadu native other state candidates cannot apply for example someone contacted me i am from andhra pradesh can i participate in telugu minority no you are not considered as a telugu minority telugu minority concept comes only if you are living in tamil nadu because within tamil nadu you are considered as a minority that's why you get a benefit okay but anyway i'm not going to cover the minority cut off in this video i'm going to only cover non minority cut off now please remember these non minority seats are available for non minority candidates of tamil nadu minority candidates of tamil nadu for example a telugu minority candidate can also participate in the non minority seats so all tamil nadu candidates can participate in this in addition other state candidates can also participate now let's look at the cut off marks for these each of these non minority private colleges so the top college is psg uh, coimbatore this is the most popular college in tamil nadu of course cmc velur is the very popular self financing private medical college in tamil nadu but since that doesn't come under a non minority category within non minority category psg is the most popular one if you look at the round one cut off 514 marks round 2 502 and in mop up round it closed at 497 marks right that's the 
overall cutoff I have mentioned here. The second most popular college is KMCH, which is also from Coimbatore. Round one cutoff was 503 marks, round two 497, and then mop up round 496 marks. Velamal Medical College in Madurai, the first round is 496, second round 485, mop up round 483, and extended mop up round 479 marks. Right, that's the final closing score. And then Mel Maruvatur Adi Parasakti Institute, round one 489 marks, round two 476, mop up round 469, and then extended mop up, it's slightly gone up to 489. So I have only taken 469 as the closing score. Then Karpa Gavinayaka, round one 495, round two 475, mop up 462. And extended mop up, it gone up to 465. So closing score, you can take it as 462. Then Tagur Medical College in Chennai, first round 487, second round 472, mop up 461, and extended mop up, it closed at 459. Then Swami Vivekananda Medical College, which is a new college, just started last year. Round one cutoff was 483, round two 471, mop up 461, and extended mop up 459. So, Tagur and Swami Vivekananda, the cutoff is the same, 459. Then stream Muthukumaran Medical College in Chennai, which is actually a Telugu minority college. Uh, and it was not available for counselling in round one and round two. This college got permission only in mop-up round. So, there were some uh, permission-related issues between um, the Tamil Nadu DME and the college. So, the DME allowed the college to participate in the counselling only from mop-up round. Uh, some seats were allotted to Telugu minority and some seats were available for non-minority candidates. Um, in mop-up round, the closing score for this college 452 and in extended mop-up 454. Then St. Peter's Medical College in Krishnagiri, this is also a new college just started last year. Uh, round 1 cut off 477, round 2 461, mop-up 451 and in extended mop-up slightly gone up to 454. Then Danalakshmi Srinivasan Medical College, it's actually a Telugu minority college. In round one, it offered seats only to Telugu minority candidates of Tamil Nadu. It was not available under uh, the general category. Uh, so you cannot see any round one cutoff because it was available only for Telugu minority students. Similarly, round two also, it was only available for Telugu minority students. Since seats were vacant after round two, those seats were converted to general management seats and offered to everyone, right? Everyone can participate for this college in mop-up round. And in mop-up round, the closing score was 460. And in extended mop-up, it came down to 440 marks. Then Annapurna Medical College in Salem, again, in round one, the seats were allotted only to Telugu minority. This is a Telugu minority college. In round one, the seats were allotted only to Telugu minority candidates. And then in round two, the seats were available for non-minority candidates. And then in round two, the cutoff was 460, mop-up 437, extended mop-up 420. And then there was a special stay round only for Annapurna Medical College. And in that special stay vacancy round, the closing score was 446. Then finally, the last college, Indra Medical College at Tiruvallur. Uh, the closing score in round one was 477, round two 457, mop up 432, and an extended mop up round, it came down to 413 marks. So that is the final closing score for management quota in Tamil Nadu private self-financing colleges, right? So 413 marks. So if you are from non-minority candidate or if you are from other states who are participating in Tamil Nadu then probably you need to look at this score 413 that means probably this year anyone with 400 plus score may hope to get a seat under management quota these are the seats that were available at an official fee structure of 12.5 lakhs but remember there will be additional fees in each of the colleges so including hostel you may have to spend somewhere close to maybe about 16 lakhs to 18, 19 lakhs per year, depending on the college, the actual fees may vary. So please check with individual colleges, what is the actual fee structure. Now we will also look at another category, NRI lapsed category in Tamil Nadu self-financing private medical colleges. First of all, what is NRI lapsed category? 
NRI lapsed category is nothing but those seats that are offered to NRIs. So basically, there are 15 percentage of seats in every private medical college in Tamil Nadu is available for NRI candidates. So 15 percentage of the seats will be first offered to NRIs. If there are not enough NRIs to take the NRI seats, those seats will be converted into NRI lapsed category from round two onwards. So round one, you can see that there, was, there are no seats under NRI lapsed category, but from round two onwards, the seats will be available because the candidates might not have joined or there are not enough NRI candidates to take the seats in those colleges. Now, what is the fee structure? What is the difference between management quota and NRI lapsed quota? Can NRI lapsed quota, other candidates, non-NRIs can participate? Yes, NRI lapsed category, anyone can participate, right? Tamil Nadu candidates, local residents, or it could be all India candidates. It's not necessarily to be NRIs. Now, what is the fee structure? For management quota, the official fee structure is 12.5. For NRA lapsed, the official fee structure is 20.5. So the reason 8 lakhs extra charge for NRA lapsed. In NRA, the fees is 23.5 lakhs. So it's slightly lesser than NRA but it's higher than management. So it's somewhere between management quota and NRA quota, somewhere in between the seats are offered. So if you are interested in NRA lapsed, then you can try that. You should be able to get a seat even if you have just passed NEET exam, right? So even if you have very low score, you should be able to get a seat under NRA lapsed, but be prepared to pay the total cost of somewhere around 24 to 25 lakhs, right? Including hostel, it will come to somewhere close to 24, 25 lakhs. If you are ready for that, then you can look at NRA lapsed category. Now let's look at the cutoff last year, college wise for NRA lapsed category. First, let's look at KMCH. Round two, the cutoff was 476. Then mop up round 470 marks. PSG, it was not available in round two. But maybe after round two, some NRA candidates has resigned, then it was available in mop-up round. In mop-up round, the closing score for PSG under NRA lapsed category was 488. And then in extended mop-up, 461. Then uh, Velamal Medical College, I will just talk about the closing score, 394 marks. Tirichi SRM, the closing score was 365. Swami Vivekananda Medical College, the closing score was 217. Danalakshmi Srinivasan Medical College, 203. Panimalar Medical College, 197. Karpagam, 188. Karpaga Vinayaka, 172. Arunai Medical College, 163. Sri Mugambiga Medical College, 161. Melmaruvatur Medical College, 161, Tagur Medical College, 155, St. Peter's Medical College, 151, Mada Medical College, 133, Sri Muthukumaran Medical College, 110, Indra Medical College, 110, and Annapurna Medical College, 109 marks. So as you can see, the cutoff is rock bottom. In fact, even some of the seats in these colleges might have been vacant, right? I'm not saying that all the seats are filled up in most of the colleges, right? The bottom colleges, there may still be seats vacant in NRA lapsed category. So the, the advice is, if you are ready to spend about 24, 25 lakhs per year, and even if your score is just pass, you should be able to get a seat. So you can keep NRA lapsed category as a last option in case if you still struggle towards the end, maybe this might be one of the options where you can get a seat in Tamil Nadu. But of course, to participate in this counseling, you need to register as soon as the NEET results are out. The registration will be open and you need to register under the management quota. So those candidates, you can try first management quota and then you can give NRA lapsed quota as the second option. So in the same college, for example, if you are interested in PSG, you can put first choice as PSG management quota. The second choice, you can put it as PSG NRA lapsed category. So in case for your score, you don't get management quota, then maybe you maybe get NRA lapsed category, right? That's how you can approach uh, counseling choice filling. Um, so that's the information I wanted to share. So I hope this information is useful for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.